right, guys, we're gonna try it again, and hopefully it works. Nothing exciting happened. Yeah. I got groceries coming today, so I have to be back before eight. Okay. Let me get it. See you shortly. <laughs> okay, guys. We're out here now. And oh shoot. I got to pay my rent. Just that quick. That's because that guy is down there. Mm -hmm. I'm getting so old. <laughs> I forgot to pay my rent. <laughs> so, it's not really late today. It's just a six pump. I found out I didn't pay my rent when I noticed my phone was disconnected. <laughs> I'll see you. got to get out of here guys I don't have oh you know what I deleted my tracker uh, run keeper today is vote day I don't know why this thing is not connecting to my uh oh Franklin Jenkins Okay, we're doing, are we doing good? There we go. We don't know what happened. Okay. So I gotta find a, I don't have a track. I have this new thing. Oh, I don't know how to use it. I have to charge this thing too. I forgot all about that. All right, let's see. Um, okay, this thing and walking. All right, we'll see. I set it on, so we'll see what happens. We're gonna go to. Um, we're gonna try to walk to Plumber, but we gotta be back by eight or before eight well by eight. my groceries are coming between eight and ten so make sure we get that uh okay. oh they didn't cut the grass yesterday interesting um today's boat day i was doing a little um, kind of like research and I realized that we have three schools in this neighborhood. We have the one on Woodley, the Christian school that I showed you guys. We have um, another school on Haskell uh, past Plummer and then finally there's a middle school um, on Sepulveda and Plummer. 
I don't think there's one on the Lassen side. Very interesting. All right, I'm gonna check the check the camera real quick. I can do it while I'm off because I don't have to. Oops, that was the wrong one. I don't have to worry about. Um, not being able to use my phone this thing you know what this is what makes people mad because this thing has to re uh re everything reboot re-roll re 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 anyway um there's a lot of people out here this morning lots of folks Oh, okay, they're got a delivery. They're just telling me to get ready for it. Okay, that's it. So, we will, we will uh, try to get back before, before eight. Now, my plan is actually to walk to Plummer on Woodley. But remember, that is um, going back uphill because I got to get back in. <laughs> so, this is probably this particular route that we're taking is is one that uh, intimidates me because of the uh, the steepness, is that a word? Steepness? Um, it's very it's a steep hill. I don't even like to drive up or down that hill. No, that's a little something I gotta get over. I, I'm trying this camera again today. Eventually, I'm gonna be able to work this camera. I did uh, one hour, I say about an hour and 20 minutes of uh, walking yesterday because I I was craving some neck bones. So uh, yesterday I walked to Seafood City which is that's about a mile away and uh, I ended up having to take an Uber back <laughs> because I got three packs of neck bones simply because I didn't want to have to you know go back to the store in a couple of weeks or whatever somebody's been driving in here I never noticed that before. Uh, yeah, so, um, so I didn't, I went ahead and got three packs and, uh, put them in my backpack, you know, after I paid and everything, put them in my backpack and it was heavy because they were, um, uh, you know, value pack, I guess that's what they call them, value pack size. But nowadays, they put neck bones in this big uh, butcher, not tray. I don't know what they call the little uh, yellow trays that they put the meat in. And then they cover it with plastic. So uh, this particular pack had, I don't know, maybe 10 to 12. Uh, 
neck bones in it. So I got three packs. And, uh, you know, it's kind of kind of heavy to carry, so. Uh, we are, well, I wonder if they do voting here. It doesn't say so. It says we are warriors. Um, yeah, anyway, so the the packages were a little too much for me to carry and have to walk back home uphill. So I ended up catching an Uber. But anyway, the ride in the Uber, um, well, the, the time that I spent in the store, the ride in the Uber, the walk, actually, all of it had this clicking sound and I didn't know where the sound was coming from so I spent most of yesterday uh, on the internet <laughs> trying to find some kind of audio editing software that I could uh, get into the video and somehow edit out uh, the sound of the clicking. Because I can hear myself talking and, you know, all that other stuff. But the uh, problem is, sorry, I've got to slow my pace down a little bit problem is that um, sorry <laughs> I can't find the software to get rid of the sound now one thing that uh, I was able to do and that was to figure out uh, basically, um, let's see if these cars do. How I can, I can find the sound track, but if this makes any sense, all of the sounds are on one track. I want to be able to, um, I want to be able to single out, um, that particular track, the one with the clicking. So I don't know how to do that. And uh, I don't know anybody who knows how to do that. I guess, hmm. Well, I won't interrupt this walk and talk to call Kim. <laughs> that would be rude. But there's got to be a way to do it. And doggone it, I'm going to figure it out. I'm tenacious like that. So, let's see. I started watching <laughs> another... Uh, another Hell's Kitchen. I think this is uh, season 10. Either season 10 or season 11. I'm just looking here, guys. You see, this is a new fence right here. This is new. Uh, not sure what could have possibly happened right here. Uh, get the fence all repaired and everything. Yeah, so uh, I I told you guys yesterday, but you are not able to know it <laughs> until I get the video fixed. Um, I told you guys was it last week? I think it was on Saturday. I don't remember, but uh, 
I was having words with my daughter's father because of my car. Remember, I told you guys I used to have a car and uh, it was an older car. But it had a lot of problems. It's a foreign car. And foreign cars are a lot more expensive to repair than domestic cars. And uh, unfortunately, my car um, turned on a nearby. Are you kidding me? Um, yeah, so I got rid of the car because it was too much, um, too much headache for me. And uh, I asked Brittany's father, I, well, I told him I was going to sell it, basically. He was like, no, don't do that. It's a classic. It's blah, blah, blah. And uh, so he took the car. I gave him the car. And the pink slip and all the other headaches that come along with it. Unfortunately, he was not um, as responsible with the car as I thought he was going to be. Uh, one thing is, for example, um, the car was not running. He was totally out of commission. And I thought he was going to do what I did, which was, well, you know, park it off the street somewhere. I have mine in our parking structure like, uh, behind the building. And uh, I thought that's what he was going to do. But he was driving the car. Not registered, no insurance nothing but he's driving the car so he calls me and tells me I got some bad news they took the car and uh, then he goes on to tell me the story behind him taking the car and somehow the Los Angeles Police Department got involved well the Pasadena police and you know <laughs> um, who wants the police involved as a black person? I'm sorry. Who wants the police involved? Anyway, so they try to, I guess, impound the car. And some idiot told Brittany's father, when somebody's trying to impound your car, if you get in the car, they can't take the car. They have to call the police. So his ass, he goes and gets in the car while the man is trying to, you know, gaffle it up. And the man called the police. <laughs> and instead of one police officer coming, he said it came like six or seven cars deep. Weapons drawn. Uh, he's like, I don't know what he told us but they came with their weapons drawn and they were manhandling me. Whoop to whoop to whoop. So, needless to say, this is the father of my child. I do love him. I got so angry. I was like, oh, F this and F that. And, you know, forget that stupid car. Basically, I didn't say forget it, but, you know, I said something to that effect. And I was more concerned with the fact that he could have lost his life right there, right that moment, right that instant. Because he's black and he's surrounded by a bunch of police officers and he doesn't know what that uh, tow truck man told the police before they got there. So that could have gone very, very wrong. And that's what got me so upset. Because, you know, dude, you are tripping. This is not 1957, okay? 
even in 1957, it was bad, but at some point they were treating us, with, you know, with a certain level of dignity and respect. But now it's, it's totally out of hand. Totally out of hand. Anyway, I just wanted to share that story with you guys. I'm having a problem, as you can see here, with this stupid thing. It's telling me it's unable to find the camera, which I need to see what I'm recording so I know, you know, if I need to make any adjustments or anything. But this thing is really not, uh, not acting right. I know my Bluetooth is on, right? That's so weird. Uh, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Well, I hope this is recording. I'm going to go ahead and finish talking to you guys and everything. But this really looks nice right here. The flowers and everything. We got birds, and this looks much nicer than ours. Somebody's got to get out there on ours. They got a little place to sit down out here. You come out here and sit. This is a nice little area. Makes you want to move the building side. We got something to eat. Okay. Um, so, yeah, like I said, guys, I don't know if I'm recording this properly or not. I'll find out when I get inside. But the, um, the other problem that I'm having with this camera is um, the, the format that it records in um, is, uh, it's, it's not, I guess popular and I should have thought about that when I first decided to buy this camera because the camera is so advanced well when I say so advanced it's relatively new it's about a year old and um, you know I have yet to find a software video editing software that will accept this particular format. So right now it's 2K or 4K, something like that. And so I had to lower it down to, I don't know if I did it to 720 or 1080. Um, I think I did 1080. But you know, I want it to be HD. But, you know, at the same time, it's taking like one, two hours to upload just a regular video that I recorded from my Android. Now I have this new camera that, uh, well, I'm still glad I got it. I guess I just have to wait for, um... I have to wait for front row to either develop a software that people can use to edit their videos because I try to do um, um, live streams and well quite honestly I don't know if well, it says you need to have uh, Wi-Fi to do the live stream, which is kind of weird to me because in all of the uh, all of the um, uh, videos advertising the camera shows people live streaming all over the place, so. That was kind of weird. I'm gonna stop the camera here. No, I'm not. 
No, I'm not. I'll try to do one inside. Wait. I'll try to do one inside. What I want to do is I want to do a live stream. I want to do a live stream. I need to do it outside. Hmm. All right, you guys, I'm going to stop the camera here and try something different.